Broken Nozzle Body Removal Step-by-Step Guide. When the laser head crashes, part of the nozzle body will be broken and potentially it may still be located inside the head uh, of the laser. Now, it's difficult to see, but part of the nozzle is located here. This is looking up from the nozzle. You need to remove this um, whilst the air release is on, i.e. the head needs to be still on the machine. Uh, but it's quite difficult to access, so we're going to show you how to do it. Uh, you need to move the um, laser to the nozzle change position. We've already covered that in a previous video. You also need to try and remove the nozzle normally. We've already covered that. And you also need to remove the lens assembly. We've already covered that. So take a look at those videos before you get to this point. You're going to need this tool. It's a 12 millimeter hex uh, liner extraction tool. The pins are on the tool actually locate inside the liner as shown here with the head off. But as I say, you can't remove the nozzle off the machine. You need to place the tool inside the head. You can see here with the lens assembly missing. It should, you should, the head of the, the tool should look something like this. You then use a torque uh, socket and wrench uh, to untighten it, as I say, it's 12 millimeters. Once it's fully untightened, you can remove the tool and pull the liner up out of the way of the bottom and the nozzle. So the reason for this is obviously the left hand picture, you can see the uh, nozzle liner in place and the right hand side, the nozzle liner removed. And once it's removed, you can get your finger in there and pull the remaining bits of the nozzle body out. That's the whole reason for moving the liner. With the liner in place, you can't get your finger behind the broken uh, piece of the nozzle body. With the liner removed and the nozzle release on the machine, I say without the air pressure of the machine, the uh, nozzle release automatically or naturally goes to lock position. It's a bit of a fail safe. Uh, once you've done that, the, the remaining bit of the nozzle body should be very easy to remove. Hope you found that useful. Please like, comment, share and subscribe for more laser videos.